Hello, and welcome to the Sewanee Church Music Conference. My name is Elizabeth Smith, and I'm here to do an organ repertoire reading session, hoping to show you some things that have been recently published and that I've enjoyed, and hope you'll find that you like some of them too. I'm one of the owners of Lois Fife Music here in Nashville, Tennessee, and with Jonathan Setzer, my business partner, we're happy to work with you any way we can. I'm playing today on the wonderful Fisk organ. It's Opus 134. Um, so if you want to look up the stop list and more information about it, you can just go to their website. And it's here at Covenant Presbyterian Church, Nashville, Tennessee. It's a large church. It probably seats eight or 900 people. And it's a great joy to play this organ today. So I'm gonna play just a few pieces. I wanna start with a new piece from Concordia. It's by Jeffrey Blairsch and it's five sacred harp tunes for the organ. I'm gonna play portions of two of these today. The first is Holy Manna, and the second is Amazing Grace, or New Britain. I have lots of settings of Amazing Grace, and most of them I don't really like, but I like this one, and I hope you will too. So let's hear a little bit of Holy Manna.
The next piece I've enjoyed playing is this prelude on a Gaelic hymn by Alfred Fidak. It's based on a hymn um, spelled C-O-L-U-M-C-I-L-L-E, which according to Mr. Google is pronounced Columbshill. Uh, it's showing up in a lot of hymnals now um, as an Advent text, but it's also got some general words to it in some hymnals, so it might be a new hymn tune for you to explore. The composer has said the piece may be played loudly and boldly or quietly and gently. I've gone for bold. So here's a bit of the Alfred Fiedek prelude on a Gaelic hymn. setting. Um, it's Versets on Veni Creator Spiritus by Thomas Fielding. Um, it's um, homage to Duraflay, of course. It's five settings, and most of them are very short, um, but I particularly like the last one, so I want to play that one for sure. Starts off like the Duraflay with the first one, just um, basically like a hymn and then variations. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this one. call for the Zimbal Stern, but I've got one, so I'm going to use it.
a sense of that one. The last one is uh, all glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It doesn't call for the loud trumpet, the loud tuba, but of course I have one, so I have to use it. So here's a bit of this one. <laughs> of trumpet tunes. Here are three trumpet tunes by Michael Hellman. I'm going to play just a little bit of the one in A major. Um, you'll notice that I tend to copy my music and put everything in a notebook because I'm right here in the center of the church and I want to create as little distraction as possible. And it gives me a chance then to copy the page turns like I'd like. But I wanted to show you one thing I've got here to save myself. I want to turn out the last page that I've Xeroxed so carefully. So to remind myself, I cover up the first measure of music, so I'm forced to do something. So there's your helpful hint from Elizabeth today. No charge. Here's a bit of the A major trumpet tune. There's a contrasting middle section.
I have a new setting by Robert Powell of the Advent hymn Helmsley. It's in three sections. The first is pretty much a playing through of the hymn. The second is a fun little two-part thing for the hands. And then the last one is a little bit more filled out. So I'll skip around the melody a little bit since it does repeat the first section, um, but to give you a sense of the piece. by Larry Visser. It's a triptych on Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer, Kumranda. The first one is like a fanfare, and that uses the big reeds again. The second one has the slushy strings with a two foot in the pedal, I believe. The last one is called Bolero, and it has an optional snare drum. So if you have one lying around, I haven't done this movement, but um, Looks kind of interesting. All right, I'll play a little bit of Guide Me, O My Great Redeemer, he calls it. This is the beginning of the fanfare. And I'll skip a little bit to the melody.
the middle one, which is the Open Now the Crystal Fountain. middle section. The next piece I'd like to show you is actually not this book. Um, Augsburg Organ Library has been coming out for years with some wonderful collections and now they've started over. So they've started Advent Volume 2, which I'm going to play from, and Christmas Volume 2. These are wonderful pieces. They're, they start with the year 1900, so there's um, quite a number of pieces that you may already have in your library, so you want to check the contents very carefully to make sure you don't have too much duplication. But with this part two, they've gotten some new hymn tunes, uh, which are very useful to us now. I'd like to play a little bit of the David Lasky setting of a shock tune called Lucent, and the Advent text that goes with it as the, da as the dark awaits the dawn. I think it's just beautiful. So here's a bit of that. Many of you have gotten some of this series, the Oxford Hymn Setting Series. They are now up to volume seven. Six came out recently. It's the Autumn Festivals. And seven, of course, is Holy Communion. I think these are wonderful collections. It's all music that's newly composed, so it will not duplicate anything already in your library. And we have, of course, here a wonderful American organ in an English chapel. 
And so the composers are both English and American. And there may be some tunes that you don't quite know because they're more British, and there's some that they won't know because they're more American. Oxford's done a great job of getting women composers involved in these, and so um, Becky Tavelde is one of the editors, and she has contrib contributed a lot of pieces. Mary Beth Bennett, um, Pamela Decker, um, Sarah MacDonald, and also, of course, in all of these, there's a lot of Malcolm Archer, who will be our guest next year, so you may want to get some of these and learn some of his pieces. Um, very poignant that it's a Dobson organ on the front, and of course, their factory burned down, what, just a month ago. So we'll hope they'll be back soon. I want to play just a few pieces from the Holy Communion one. The first is part of a Becky Tavildi piece, a Dorote. I'll play just a little bit of this one. It's called A Reverie, and it's written for Scott Robb, our colleague at St. Paul's Cathedral in Oklahoma City. section. quiet, meditative adorote. There's also a piece by Matthew Corll. It's based on a spiritual, and he calls it Welcome Table. A bit of that. Craig Phillips, it's on Union Seminary. And when I think of Union Seminary, I think of Jerry Hancock. And I'm happy to say that Oxford is coming out this fall with a organ book with all of the Oxford published Jerry Hancock organ pieces. For a long time, they were archive copies that we had to get from England. And so they actually took our advice for once and they're putting out a new volume. So if you'd like to order that, just give us a call. We have a long list of people waiting for that. But this is Union Seminary by Craig Phillips, native of Nashville, I must say. Thank you. 
But you always have a sigh of relief when you get through with the pedal solo. Actually, he calls for this pedal solo to be played up here another octave with an eight foot. But on this flat pedal board, I find it much easier to put it down an octave and put it on a four foot. So that's what I did and I almost made it through without a mistake. I wanted to end today playing a hymn accompaniment. This is by James Vivian, who's the organist at St. George's Chapel, who's been involved, of course, with some of the royal weddings and recently the funeral. And this has a descant and a free accompaniment. So I wanted to end with Qumranda again. And I'll play just um, the ending of the hymn as I would for a second verse, and then do the free accompaniment. So you can hear a bit of the fuller organ. Not quite full, but fuller. to seeing you in person next year. If you make it to Nashville, I would love for you to come play this wonderful organ. It's conveniently located just up the hill from Lois Fife Music. So you can shop a little bit, play a little bit, shop a little bit more. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next year.